I'm Don Wynn, Director of GNC and Performance at Relativity Space. And since you asked, what are the major challenges for the GNC team during ascent, staging, and reentry? Today I'll talk about the navigation part of that. But what navigation is, is it uses a combination of different sensors to measure a rocket's position, velocity, and orientation. The Terran R rocket primarily uses a combination of IMUs and GPS receivers. So what an IMU is, it stands for Inertial Measurement Unit, and these are sensors that measure the motion of the vehicle. So they consist of accelerometers and gyroscopes. So accelerometers are sensors that measure the translational acceleration of a rocket, and gyroscopes measure the uh, rotational body rates of the rocket. And so an IMU consists of three of each of these, and this allows us to measure the motion in three-dimensional space. Prior to launch, while Terran R is sitting on the pad, the gyroscopes are actually precise enough to measure the rotation of the Earth. And we can use this measurement in order to determine true north of the vehicle uh, relative to its heading. And this is a technique called gyro compassing, and it's, it's pretty similar to a, a regular compass, uh, except we're using the rotation of the Earth instead of uh, a magnet to determine what north is. Additionally, the accelerometers can be used to measure the Earth's gravity, and so this lets us know uh, what the tilt of the vehicle is relative to gravity. And so together with the heading and the gravity vector measurement, we're able to determine what the orientation of the vehicle is on the ground. And then after flight, we integrate the body rates and the accelerations from the IMU, and this lets us update the orientation and position of the rocket throughout flight.